Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So Microsoft has confirmed a known issue with the April Patch Tuesday security update that rolled out for Windows 11 versions 22H2 and 23H2. And that was the update that rolled out on the 9th, 10th of April, depending on your region, KB5036893. And it will also apply to this update, which was the optional bug fix C release update that rolled out last week, KB5036980. Now, the issue is that Microsoft says that after installing these updates, you might be unable to change your user account profile picture, which is this, obviously, as you may well know, this account profile picture. And um, when you try and uh, change that account profile picture, they say you might receive an error message with error code 0x8007520. Now, basically, the long and short of this is that apparently the error, if we head over to our accounts page, and this is where you change your accounts uh, image and your profile picture. You head to the accounts page in settings, your info, and this is where the problem is arising. You click on browse files, and then when you try to uh, change that account picture, it's giving you that error as mentioned 0x8007520. Now, Apparently, according to reports, the area is mostly experienced on devices with a local account. Now, I'm not signed in with a local account. I'm using a Microsoft account, which means um, basically you won't run into it if you use a Microsoft account. So I have experimented a little bit before um, posting this video, and I'm not being able to replicate the error, but it does come up as a banner on this page when you try to change your account profile picture. Now, apparently what is happening is that the error is uh, the error blocks you from changing the profile photo because Windows 11 can no longer save the picture into a certain directory, which we'll look at how basically what that directory is and where to allocate the directory and how you can uh, basically use a workaround until Microsoft rolls out a fix because they say they are working on a resolution and we'll provide an update in an upcoming release. So obviously I'll let you know when that fix rolls out. But up until then, if you are faced by this issue and you are using a local account and you're trying to change that profile picture and you're getting that error, then basically this is how you can resolve it and change your local profile picture um, without basically using the settings app because that's where the error is occurring. So how we do this is... You head to your file explorer, navigate to your C drive or the drive that your OS is installed on. And then if you haven't already, you need to show hidden items. And now from now on, just click through any UAC user account control warnings if they do show up and pop up. And then what you would do is you would then head over to users. You would head over to your actual, um, your default user basically the admin on on uh, that device and then you would head to app data and yeah we click on roaming and then we head to microsoft windows and this is the folder you want to open up now i'm using a microsoft account that's why there are no local local profile pictures but what you would do is you would then um basically pick a picture and include a picture you want to make your profile picture and copy it into this folder and if there is a another image here you want to replace you can also delete the image in the folder obviously to remove your profile picture and then what I would suggest is once you've done that is you close this all out and then I would restart my computer and once your computer is restarted you, you you should then see your new profile picture um, on the lock screen in the start menu and other places where your profile picture obviously is displayed in Windows 11 until Microsoft rolls out an official fix. So as mentioned, just making you aware of that after installing those updates, you might be unable to change your user account profile picture, mainly affecting users with local accounts. And that's with the error 0x8007520. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.